Hello children, today a delightful collection of short poems about animals in the ocean. Are you ready to listen to them? Okay, let's start. We've got Froggy with us. Commotion and the Ocean. That's the name of the book. So we're going to start right now. Let me put my glasses on. Okay, let's take a look. There's a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. Let's go to the ocean and see. You'll find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins whales and penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There's the turtle and the big white polar bear. But can you see behind the wrecks and in between the rocks? Let's take a look and find who's hiding there. So let's take a look. Oh, here we've got a crab. A crab. The crab likes walking sideways, and I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he's a spy. <gasps> turtles, look at these green, beautiful turtles. We crawl up the beach from the water to bury our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch and then when they, ha they hatch, they scamper about in the sand. Okay, now, ah, oh, the dolphins, beautiful dolphins, squeak, squeak. Okay, the, the wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. It's not how you do, as I say to you. It's more of a click whistle squeak. That's the way they speak to us. They sing, actually. <gasps> angelfish. Look at this beautiful angelfish. Hello, I'm the angelfish, darling. The prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. Oh, gosh. I bet he doesn't have any other friends. Hmm. Jellyfish. The jellyfish just loves to jiggle, which other fish think is quite dumb. She knows that it's not all that useful, but jiggling lots of good food. Um, oh, oh, children, look at this big animal with sharp teeth. Who's that? It's a shark. I swim with a green up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer? Please. Take a good look inside. Inside his mouth? Mmm, no. <sighs> Swordfish. I love to chase after small fishes. It keeps me from getting too bored. And then when I start feeling hungry, I sure a few on my sword. Tickle, tickle, tickle. That's the octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <sighs> Lobsters and, oh, stingray. Oh, the stingray, oh, they're dangerous. Be careful, children. Don't ever touch a stingray. Mm. All the bottom, at the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings, flap, flap. But don't you get too close to him. 
He's still really, really stinks. Lobster. Okay, let's take a look at the lobster. Never shake hands with a lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With a clippity clap and a snippity snap, he would snip all your fingers in two. Gosh, I like lobsters, though. Now let's go deep in the sea. Look at all these animals. I like this one. Deep in the sea, miles below, let's see, miles below the surface where the water darks and deep live the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions of every shape and size. Some have giant pointy teeth and great big bulging eyes, big eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins, but the strangers, strangest fish of all have glowing whisker on their jeans. What are the glowing whiskers? I can't see. Maybe this one? Hmm? Oh, and finally, the blue whale. The blue giant whale. There's no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long from his head to the tip of his tail. From the head to the tip of his tail. It's the biggest animal in the planet. <gasps> walruses. Oh, walruses are funny. Our bodies are covered with blubber and our tusks are incredibly long. We're grumpy and proud and we belong, we belong out loud to show that we're mighty and strong. They're strong. Mmm, penguins. We waddle around on our icebergs which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splash, splash on the side. Polar bears, great polar bears. Aren't they lovely? Okay, dip out in the Arctic. The mommy polar bear snuggles up with all her children since it's very cold out there. Okay, and we arrived to the end of the story of our poems. Hmm, what a lot of creatures we have seen beneath the sea. What a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite, like the shark. But the shark, oh, okay, I'm um, sorry, one bite. And some might want to swim around with you, like the dolphins. The dolphins very friendly, and the lobsters very fierce, but the shark is the most dangerous by far. Can you name the other friends we've made along the way? See if you can tell me who they are. Okay, can you tell me? Can you tell me now? Okay. Who is this Obin He? Who is he? What's the name of this animal? Octopus. Yeah, you're right. And uh, what about this one? This one here? This orange animal? Oh, yellowfish? Yes, you're right. Good for you, good for today. And, okay, which animal is this? Hmm, okay, we've got the shark, dolphins, and some fish. Okay, did you like our story, our poems, a collection of poems? I hope you liked it. Leave us a comment, and see you next time. Bye.